The Northeast Corridor is the busiest rail corridor in the U.S. and operates the fastest train in North America, the Acela. However, the Acela's capability has been limited with the aging infrastructure, massive curves, and mixed traffic with freight and commuter trains. In today's video, I will be proposing a series of improvements along the Northeast Corridor to increase the average speed and capacity as well as reduce delays. For this video, I will cover the improvements for the section between Washington DC and New York City. The first improvement I propose for the Northeast Corridor is quad tracking between Washington DC and Healthorpe. To accomplish this, there may require some tunneling and displacing of homes, but most of it should be able to be built on the existing railway. The second improvement project I propose is improving the section through Baltimore, making it have four tracks. I have two plans to make this happen. One of them is to revise the Frederick Douglass Tunnel project to have four tracks instead of two. This was the original plan and was cut to save money. Our alternate plan is for the Frederick Douglass Tunnel to remain with two tracks, while a separate two-track Baltimore Crosstown Tunnel will be built. I came up with two possible alignments for this new tunnel. The first alignment starts near the West Baltimore MARC station. Turning east to run under the US 40 highway through downtown Baltimore before connecting back to the existing Northeast Corridor line near Creason. For this alignment plan, I propose a station at the intersection with North Howard Street, naming it as Baltimore Central Station and making it into a downtown central rail hub. An infill station will be built here on the Metro subway link and light rail. This alignment is approximately 5.6 miles long and mostly tunneling, so it could be costly. That is why I came up with a shorter alignment that will utilize a section of the existing Baltimore and Port Mac tunnel. The new tunnel section will start east of North Fremont Avenue. Majority of the tunnel will be on the East Chase Street. For this alignment, a station will be at State Center. This alignment will only be 2.78 miles long, but could require taking over some homes, which could add up the cost. The first longer alignment is almost fully under a highway, which will likely not need taking of homes. Further study will be needed to decide on the better choice, but both of these alignments will be straighter than the existing tunnels, allowing for higher speed of operation. The third improvement I propose is for Wilmington. The current alignment near Wilmington includes two huge curves. My improvement plan will utilize the Shellport branch to become the Wilmington Bypass. The bypass will split off the existing Northeast Corridor south of Wilmington while rejoining North of it. This will allow Northeast Corridor trains that aren't stopping at Wilmington to operate at a higher speed through the area. An alternative plan for the Wilmington Bypass would be to straighten right away near Wilmington Station and relocating the station. But this plan may require tunneling and taking of properties, which will add up the cost. So I prefer the Wilmington Bypass plan. The fourth improvement I propose is to quad track all triple or double track sections between Baltimore and Wilmington. This will require replacing the Gunpowder Rural Bridge Bush Rural Bridge and Susquehanna Rural Bridge, which are all over 100 years old and only carry two tracks. The quad track section could end at the junction with the Shilpa branch if we choose to build the Wilmington Bypass. Two of the four tracks will split onto the Wilmington Bypass. The other two will connect with the existing alignment. The fifth improvement I propose is straighten alignment at Philadelphia. Under my proposal, it will be a four-track new line built between Edison and Taconi, Pennsylvania. It will utilize freight and industrial use tracks in the section before Philadelphia Airport. Then, it will run in the median or next to the identifier for the east end of Center City, Philadelphia and rejoining the Northeast Corridor at Taconi. Stations will be built at Philadelphia Airport, Market Street, and Old Richmond. A connection to the Market Frankfurt Line Second Street Station will be made at the Market Street Station. The Market Street Station will become a new major rail hub for Philly. 
The reason I chose this alignment is because it could be mostly above ground. Alignment that is more to the center of Philadelphia might require a long tunnel. Another thing to point out is alignment near Philadelphia Airport. I have seen rails stick under runways in other countries, so ideally, I would prefer the straight alignment under the runway. But if that cannot be done, the alignment will need to be moved north along I-95 with curves. After this new alignment is built, Northeast Corridor trains could avoid the huge curves near 30th Street Station and could operate at a higher speed. The last improvement to mention is not my proposal, but it's worth mentioning, and that is the Gateway Program, a series of improvements on the Northeast Corridor between Newark and New York City, including rehabilitation of the existing North River tunnels and a new tunnel under the Hudson. The new tunnel will be finished by 2035, and the existing tunnel will be rehabilitated by 2038. The improvement projects above are ones that I believe will make significant difference for the Northeast Corridor and should be considered with priority. Now, let's talk about the improvement, which is nice to have, but not as urgent. And that is a series of railway straightening projects in Maryland, north of Baltimore, between Rosedale and Middlesex, Chase and Edgewood, Pyramid and Elkton. These sections include curves that could slow down trains so it makes sense to build a straighter alignment for trains to reach higher speeds. However, we can see from the satellite that these projects will require taking up property or running through forests or other kinds of natural environment, making the project challenging and costly. I would suggest them to be built after we finish the ones mentioned earlier. And that is all the improvement projects I propose for the Northeast Corridor Southern section between New York and Washington, D.C. If you want to see me cover the northern section of the Northeast Corridor to Boston, have any thoughts on these improvements, or have a better alternative than what I proposed, feel free to put them in the comments. If you want to learn more about the Frederick Douglass Tunnel, aka the improvement around Baltimore, you can check out this video, which tells you all about it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.